Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to work you through the uh, 12E assignment. Okay, so um, number one, we've got uh, what will investment of $3,000 at 10% per annum compound interest amount to after three years? So let's use this uh, formula over here. So we're investing three thousand. That's the P, the principal amount. So and we're trying to figure out what the uh, ending amount is. So we got A equals three thousand times one plus our rate, and this is rate as a decimal. So zero point one zero. Always move the decimal over two spots. All over N, which is the compounding periods, which is one in this case all to the n, which is 1, times t, which is the time in years, so that's 3 years. Okay, so we're just going to calculate that out there, and we can just put this into the calculator just like it looks. 3,000 times parentheses 1 plus point one zero. And if we're dividing by one, that's not going to change anything. So we'll just close the parentheses, and then one times three is three. To the third third power, not the thirty-third power. That'll give us a different answer. All right, and we get thirty-nine ninety-three. So the A is thirty-nine ninety-three. So that's how much you end up with. But they said, um, what's what's it going to end up to after three years? Which we figured that out. Uh, and then part B says what part of this is interest. So we take our what we ended up with, 39.93, and subtract our original investment of 3,000, and we get 993 dollars is our. Um, oops, that's part of the dollar sign there. Let's try that again. That looks like 1993. That's not what we want. There we go. 993 dollars is our interest. Okay. All right, number two, how much compound interest is earned by investing 20,000 euro at 12% per annum if the investment's over a four-year period? So, similar to what we just did on number one, so the amount, what we're trying to figure out what the amount's going to be if you invest 20,000 euro, and it doesn't matter what um, denomination it's in, we can still use this same formula. One plus our rate which is um, 12 percent and again these ends are the compounding periods and this is not compounded like monthly or weekly or anything like that so these ends just turn into one which basically makes them um, not necessary in here so i'm just going to leave this as one plus point zero sorry point one two all to the time which is four years okay so we'll plug that in we got 20,000. One more zero, there we go. All times one plus point one two, or if you're, if you want to just put 1.12, because that's obviously what that's going to equal, that's fine too. All to the fourth power. And that gives us 31, 470, 39. Okay, so it gives us that many euro, right? And how much compound interest is earned? So how much interest is earned? So that's where we've got to take our 31,470.39 and subtract our $20,000 invis oh, sorry, original investment. So that's going to give us 11,000 four hundred and seventy point three nine euro will be our uh, interest that we earned on that okay all right moving on to number four how much compound interest is earned by investing eighty thousand at nine percent over three years so we get we're figuring out what the amount is so that's our there we go a, no i'm keep putting z equals that's what I'm trying to put down. Uh, P is 80,000. One plus our rate, which is 9%, 0 0.09. There's no compounding period, so the ends don't 
matter here. Uh, they would just be one, so it doesn't change anything. And then it's to the th uh, three year period, so that's to the third power. Okay, so we will enter that in. So we get 80,000 all times one. And if you would do one plus 0.09, that's just going to be 1.09. Or you can just leave it like, you can just type it straight in like that. And it's to the third power. And that gives us 103.602.32. Right, is that the right number? 103602.32, there we go. And that is our amount, and it says how much interest is earned. So then again, we gotta take the 103602.32 and subtract our $80,000 original investment to figure out how much interest we've earned. So that's our point thirty two. that's a 602, and then 80, 103 minus 80 is going to leave us with 23,602 dollars. Okay. Okay. Moving on to number five. What will an investment of 100,000 yen amount to after five years if it earns 8% um, <clears throat> per annum compounded semi annually? So that's going to mean that our N here is two because that's the compounding period so that's where that comes into play so we got what's our amount going to be if we invest a hundred thousand all times one plus our rate which is 0 0.08 uh, now it's compounded twice because it's semi-annually and so that's all to the two so the that semi-annually are those two ends and then the time is five years so two times five Okay, so we can enter this into our calculator, 100,000. That's 100,000, right? Yep. Um, all times, let's do 1 plus 0 0.08. And we're going to divide that 0 0.08 by 2. And then we're going to take that whole thing to the 2 times 5 power, which is to the 10th power. And that gives us... 148, 24, 43. Let's see if I got that right, if I remembered. Let's see, 148, 024.43, okay? That's good, and now it says, what will an investment of this amount to? So we don't have, to, we're not looking for the, just the interest we're finding the total amount so you're ended up at 148,000 okay all right let's take a look at number seven how much money must be invested now if you're requiring twenty thousand dollars for a holiday in four years time so you're looking for your end amount to be twenty thousand so this twenty thousand is going to be the a and we're trying to look for the p so we're going to write this as twenty thousand equals P, so they're figuring out how much do we have to invest now to end up with $20,000 in four years time. So that's P times one plus our rate, which is 7.5%, uh, so that's 0 0.075, right? Because we've got to move that decimal over two spots, all over, and it's compounded annually, so that's just over one. And then this is, so the both ends are gonna be one, and this is in four years. Okay, so um, we have this 20,000 over here, and then we know that it's gonna equal P times this whole thing. So let's figure out what this whole thing equals. Okay, so we've got one plus 0 0.075 divided by one isn't gonna change anything, so we'll just, oops, let's see. Oh, I need to put our parentheses in at the very beginning here. So I'm going to do this second insert, and then I can put in parentheses. Okay, and then we're going to take all that to the fourth power. So that gives us 1.33547, we'll call it. 
and so that's p times all that so to figure out what our p is our original investment needs to be we're going to divide both sides by 1.33547 right okay and just so you know this number here means that you're going to after four years time at 7.5 percent interest you're going to end up at 133.547 percent of what you originally invested just so you kind of have an idea so those cancel out or reduce down to one p equals and we're going to take we just need to take twenty thousand and we're going to divide it by this number here so i'm going to do second answer so i don't have to try to enter all that back in and we get 1497 sorry fourteen thousand nine hundred seventy six dollars and one cent okay so you gotta invest fourteen thousand nine hundred seventy six bucks in order to end up with um, two hundred thousand dollars sorry twenty thousand dollars okay okay let's take a look at number eight what initial investment is required to produce a maturing amount of fifteen thousand that's I believe is that pounds in sixty months time um, and it's compounded annually okay at a fixed rate of 5.5 .5. so we are we know what our original what what uh, sorry we know what amount we want to end up with and that's the 15,000 so we do 15,000 equals and what we're trying to figure out is what the investment is in order to end up with 15,000 and we do one plus our rate which is 0 0.055 compounding period is it's just annually so that's just going to be one so i'm just going to leave that and it's all times one to the number of years so we have 60 months so we need to take the 60 divided by 12 and that's just five years so this needs to be a five here not a 60. okay so let's calculate what this is so we have 15,000 over here and then we're going to figure out what um, 1.055, because that's what 1 plus 0 0.055 is going to equal, to the fifth power is. And that gives us 1.3096, Is that right? Oops, wrong button. There we go. 30696. Okay. And that is P times this. So we know it's going to be about a 130.696% of the original value after five years. So we want to divide by that 1.30696, both sides. All right, and we get that our original investment will need to be, let's see, so we're going to take 15,000. And we're going to divide it by our answer. And we get 11,477.02. All right, 11,477.02. So we're going to need to have that many, that many pounds. We're going to have to invest 11,477 pounds to end up with uh, 1,500 pounds, 15,000 pounds, sorry. Um, at the end of uh, five years okay okay last problem here number 10 what initial investment is required to produce a maturing amount of 40,000 yen in eight years time if it's invested at nine percent compounded monthly this is the key here so that means that the n is 12 because these n's stand for the number of compound periods per year so if it's compounded monthly, that's n equals 12. So what initial investment is required? So we know that we're going to end up with 40,000. And that's going to equal p times 1 plus our rate, which is it's 9%. So we move the decimal over twice, 0 0.09, divided by the number of compound periods, which is 12, all to the 12 times the number of years, which is 8 years okay 
So let's figure out what this all equals. We have the 40,000 over here, and that's going to equal P times whatever this number is. So we're going to take 1. Ooh, let's do this. Let's put this all in parentheses. 1 plus 0 0.09. Divide that by 12. All in parentheses. And then 12 times 8 is 96, right? So we want to take that to the 96th power. And we get 2.00489. So we get 2.0489 times P. So to figure out what P is, we got to divide by 2.0489. Both sides. And we get, and we'll figure out what our P value is. Okay, so we're going to take 40,000. And we're going to divide it by our answer, which is that 2.0489. And we get that we need to invest 19,522.47. Okay, and that's yen, of course. 19,522.47. Five okay, I got that right. So that many yen need to be invested, and that's 19,000, um, in order to end up with 40,000 yen eight years later at 9% compounded monthly. Okay? All right, that's uh, all, all there is for this here. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.